Fawzi al-Ashid prayed that his children and grandchild will be pulled out alive from underneath the rubble of what was their house. They weren't. More than 250 Syrians have been killed in Russian and Syrian air and ground attacks in recent weeks. Opposition-controlled towns across southern Idlib, northern Hama and western Aleppo in the northwest are under attack. Every day, people are dying under the rubble here in Idlib province, while the Arab leaders are in air-conditioned rooms. Children, women and the elderly are dying. Look around. This has become our reality. The United Nations says further escalation would threaten humanitarian assistance for the region's residents. Some 270,000 people have been displaced since late April. Only 30 percent of those in need are receiving aid because the number of displaced in the past month drastically increased. The intense bombardment is preventing aid workers from reaching some areas. It's been a month since the bombardment began. A ceasefire agreed by Russia and Turkey last year has all but collapsed, straining their alliance in Syria. Turkish authorities say there are efforts to revive that deal. We asked and are waiting for our Russian partners, whom we are in close contact with, to use their influence on the Syrian regime in order to stop the land and air attacks on Idlib as soon as possible. The Russian-backed offensive is seen as military pressure on Turkey to force the rebels to create a demilitarized zone around Idlib and open highways that run through the province. This is a huge test for the Turkish-Russian cooperation. If it takes because of Idlib, uh, then the entire political transition process, the constitutional committee process, and the Astana process might be in danger, and therefore both sides have a huge interest in securing the process and uh, de-escalating. The armed opposition is holding its ground, believed to be backed by Turkey, which gives it a strong position on the table. But Turkey's participation in the Russian-led Astana negotiating track may be more important for Russia than Idlib, as it seeks to drive the political process to end the war. Zanakhudar Al Jazeera, Beirut.